What is up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Wii U USB helper and I believe this is the latest version. Uh, Wii U USB helper is also discontinued or finished um, but there are ways to patch it to get it to work using the USB helper launcher and this is the latest version 0.11e and I will provide links to download both of these files so one of them is on Google Drive and this is the Wii U USB helper so all you need to do is click on the link below and click on download and I've already prepared it so it's here already and then once you've done that go ahead and go into the github page and just refresh it, this is the latest version, which was released on the 6th of October, version 0.11e. And it tells you the fixes as well. So, when you have the files ready, we want to extract this. We'll make a folder actually. Just call it Wii U. USB helper. And we're gonna just put it in here and put that in here as well. Okay, so extract this into the folder. And these are all the files. And then do the same thing with this, with the launcher, which is essentially a patch and a crack together. And then copy, or you can cut the files, paste it onto the Wii U USB helper folder. Okay, so now you want to find out where make host JSON is, which is the application. And we need to enter the value 42 and generate. And then it will create a host dot json uh, file which is here after that's done uh, click on the usb helper launcher you can run it as administrator and then it would say patching now it says welcome choose your current region so in my case i'm gonna click on europe oh yeah you must agree to the terms and the u ULA. It will then tell you where to store your games. So what I've done is I've literally put out on I've made a create a folder called Wii U Games and I'm just gonna select this folder. Okay, so then this ticket will will prompt you to put in a link. So without this link, you won't be able to get any of the games. So it's quite crucial that you put in the link. It's basically Wii U.TitleKeys.GQ. I believe for the uh, 3DS, the 3DS. <coughs> TitleKeys.GQ. In some cases, you might need to put like HTTP in front. Okay, and then it's going to fetch the title keys. And each time you open up the software, it'll basically tell you like a new game that has been added to the list. No 3DSs. I don't know if 3D if they have like stopped in the 3ds game um okay thank you for using wii u 
USB update, new Wii U update. 5.5.2. And this is basically about your Wii U console, the firmware of your Wii U. Um, for my case, it's actually 5.5.3. Um, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so here is the program. Um, so I've already used this before. It, to it tells me what's already on my library. These are the games I have already installed. And we can also filter. Uh, if we don't want 3DS games, we can unclick that. We're just going to have them all here. Yeah. Let's pick a Wii U game. 3D Streets of Rage 2. Ace Combat is a good one. 700 odd. Otherwise, that's for the 3DS. You can also search for games as well. See any Mario games. Mario Tennis, let's pick this, because I don't have Mario Tennis Ultra Edition. Um, so you, you can click either on add or add update for updates and DLCs. If you already have the game, then you just want to click the, the updates, which are basically the yeah, DLCs as well. Um, so we're going to click this, and then all the updates will be listed here, there's more than one. Obviously, you want to click on the latest one, click OK, start download. And then it should tell you how fast it's downloading and estimated time. OK, so the update downloaded, not actually the game. Uh, so yeah, um, you want to do them separately, actually. So click on Add to download the game, click on Add Update to download the DLC. It was currently downloading Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. It's about 888 gigs or megabytes worth. It's going pretty fast. So we will return when this downloads and then show you how to extract it from here. I do it the manual way um, using an SD card. But I'm sure there is other ways of doing it as well. Right, the next step is to locate your game. In my case, it's Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. You click Copy to SD. Let's try to do both of these at once. I normally just do the game first and then add update. Let's see if it will do. It will install the game and the update together. Click OK. OK again. So here you can like send it straight to the Wii U. I guess if you connect the Wii U to your PC. I'm not too sure how that works. Um, I do it manually. But in this case, I've just stuck in the SD card. I think it's formatted as either FAT32 or NTFC. Let me just double check. It's a FAT32 SD card. And we are then going to copy to SD. Make sure it's the correct drive. And it will create a install folder for you. So that your hacked Wii U can uh, read it. This is the location of the actual game itself. So this is the folder I was talking about earlier. The Wii U games folder. And it will create a data folder. Here you have your emulators, and these are the European PAL games that I've got. So all the games are here. This is the one we downloaded. And the updates are in a separate folder. And then we also have eShop, which is sort of virtual console games, uh, digital download only and DLCs. So what I've done is I've directly copied Mario Tennis onto the SD card and it should create an install like this. And the game is here 
and the update is here as well. So let's pop this SD out and see if we can install this Wii U game. Alright, so once you put your SD card back in with the install files, uh, make sure it's the same SD that has your homebrew files so that you can launch Hackchi. And this is, you need to do this prior to doing the Wii U USB helper. And I'll put a link in the description of how to do that. Just click on Hackchi. And you need to click on home button to get to the homebrew launcher. So yeah, before you can download and play Wii U backups, you do need to hack your Wii U. Else this won't work. Okay, so we scroll to the WUP installer GX2. Um, you can do it this way, which is the old method. But the GX2, I believe you can install the game and the update at the same time. These are the two folders that um, we had copied from the Wii U helper. We're just gonna select all and install. Yes. And now you can choose whether to install it in the internal memory, which this has 32 32 gigs or the USB and I have a one terabyte USB 2.5 inch external hard drive and that's where most of my games are so now it should just install the game first and then the updates afterwards Give the Wii U a reset after the installation completes. And now we should have Mario Tennis. On the Wii U. There we go. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. updated to the latest version and I believe the online should work as well so yeah it's, it's working perfectly fine this is on uh, set to TV mode only and you should be able to play this on the gamepad as well. But as it guys, that is how you play backups or download Wii U software using the Wii U helper. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I'll see you again in another video.